Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stravan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Civil Engineering by Sravan. So in this video lecture, I will explain you complete analysis and designing of dome structure by using StatPro VI software. So I was already done the modeling process, analysis process, designing process for the demo dome structural model. So initially I will show you that model. Then after that, I will explain you the complete analysis as well as the designing for that structure. So here I'm selecting my StatPro software. This is, this is the dome structure I was already done. So initially I will select the front view. So click on the 3D view, rendering view option. So this is the final dome view structure for this building model. So firstly, I will show you the specifications which I am considering for this dome. So here in this case, initially I was considered the diameter of the dome is approximately equals to 16 meter. Again in the same process, I was taken the height of the dome is similar to that of the uh, radius of this particular structure, which is approximately equal to 8 meter. Okay. So in the same process, I was taken the plinth level beam sections here. Again, it will be consisting of the first story level beam sections here like this. And these vertical members are nothing but your column sections, which I am considering for this particular dome structural model. So here you can see I was taken approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 number of the columns for this dome structure. So in this video, I will cover you how to model this dome structure and how to analyze this dome structure and how to design this dome structure by using StatPro V8 software. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. So again, I will show you the properties. So 0 0.6 cross uh, is the circular column section I was taken. Beam is 0 0.6 cross 0 0.23 and thickness of the dome is approximately 230 mm. Okay. So initially I will close this model. So now I am selecting StatPro V8 software here. Firstly, I will create the folder here. This time I am creating new folder. This time I am giving GGG. So select the new project option, give the spacing. So just I'm giving dome G as the name. So select this uh, three dots option for selecting the location. So here I'm selecting G, G, G option. Click on OK. Now we have to select the length units as well as the force units. Length units will be in meter as well as the force units will be in kilonewton according to our consideration. Click on finish option. Now after this, we have to model the column sections as well as the beam sections initially for the dome structural model. So for that we have to use the structure wizard option for doing the uh, modeling process for the columns as well as the beam. Go to geometry option here. Click on run structure wizard option. So in this initially we had to select the frame models option. So here in this case we have to select the reverse uh, cylinder. Now we have to consider the length of the uh, reverse cylinder which is approximately equal to 6 meter from the ground. And radius I am taking here as 8 meter and 360 degrees number of base along length direction just I am taking has two numbers again along periphery direction I am taking 12 numbers here click on apply now we can see this is the column sections which I am considering for this dome click on the cancel option click on S option click on OK now after this we have to delete the uh, beam section which is exist at the ground level so just I am selecting this ground level so you can see here these are the plinth beam section which I am considering for the dome structure and this is the first floor beam section so for the first floor beam sections, the dome structural model is connected. So here I'm selecting this 3D view. Click on the hide snap node beam option. Now we have to add the circular dome section at this uh, top level. Go to geometry for that. Click on run structure wizard for that. Select the uh, surface plate model. So in this we have to select the spherical surface option. So again we have to enter the base diameter for this dome structure. So here I'm taking base diameter which is approximately equal to 18 meter. So 16 meter according to my consideration and diameter of the sphere is also I am taking here as 16 meter and number of divisions you can consider according to your specified dimensions and periphery direction just I am selecting latitude direction as 12 number here now we can see 
this is the dome structure so now we have to insert this dome structure which is at a distance of approximately 6 meter from the ground level click on the cancel option click on s option for that and select the y direction distance is approximately 6 meter click on ok option now you can see it was connected your dome structure with the help of the beam stretch sections here like this ok so this is the process of doing the modeling process for the dome structure now after this we have to add the properties go to general option click on the property option so initially we will define the property which is related to 0.6 is the diameter of the column again in the same process I am selecting this again I am selecting 0.6 cross 0.23 is the dimensions for the beam sections ok again click on cancel option select the thickness option just I am selecting 0.23 is the thickness of the plate section so firstly we will assign the uh, circular uh, column section go to select option here just I am selecting here beams parallel to y direction condition system click on assign to selected beams assign yes option select the thickness by using assign to view we will assign the properties after this we have to assign the beam section property by selecting here go to select option missing attribute missing property now click on assign to selected beams assign option yes option here so that it will assign the properties for this dome structural model now I will show you this model in rendering view click on the 3d rendering view option now we can see this is the 3d rendering view for this particular structural model which is related to dome structural model according to our consideration ok so now you can see this is the dome structural model now after this we have to define the support condition system for this dome structure go to select the supports option create option add option select support to with the help of the front view we will select all the node points at the base click on assign to selected nodes assign option yes option here after this we have to uh, add the load cases for this building structural model so for this dome structural model I am considering the loads which is related to both gravitational loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition systems so that's why just I am selecting loads and definitions initially go to click on the definition option here select the seismic definition click on add option so firstly we will select the definition according to IS code provision standard system to 1893 code click on generate option so here we have to consider the zone according to our consideration just I am selecting zone is 5 which is having 0.36 seismic coefficient factor special RC moment resisting uh, uh, frames and of all buildings and medium soil condition click on generate option ok so again we have to add the damping ratio which is of 0.05 value click on add option now we will add the self weight condition factor as 1 add option again we will add the member weight if you consider the walls on that particular story you can consider but here in this dome structural model we are not considering any kind of the walls on the first floor beam so that's why we have to consider only the floor weight condition system so we have to consider the floor weight by calculating the self weight of that particular floor so here I am considering self weight is 0.23 cross 25 which is approximately equal to 5.75 for the slab section so go to select the pressure minus sorry 5.75 so we have to select the y range value which is acting at a distance of approximately 3 meter as well as the 6 meter for the dome structure ok otherwise you can consider 24 meter also why because our last slab was exist at the height of the 24 meter diameter so again click on the add option click on close option now after this we have to select the wind definition click on add option so you can consider the calculation according to IS uh, 875 part 3 code but if you know the values you can consider the value so select this wind one type one click on add option so just I am selecting intensity 1.2 which is acting at a distance of approximately 6 plus uh, 16 which is approximately equal to 24 meter again in the same process just I am selecting 1 which is acting at a distance of 18 meter in the same process I am selecting the value 0 0.5 which is acting at a distance of approximately 12 meter again I am selecting value 0 0.4 which is acting at a distance of 9 meter I am considering here click on add option again we will add the factor as 1 click on add close option select the exposure factor so click on the select exposure factor click on assign to view option so click on assign click on s option now after this we have to define the load cases select this option load case details option click on add option initially we will select the seismic definition which is related to earthquake load in x direction condition system in the same process we have to consider the earthquake load which is in z direction condition system in the same process we will consider wind load in x direction condition system in the same process you can consider wind load in z direction condition system 
in the same process just i'm selecting dead load condition system in the same process if you consider the uh live load you can consider but here i was not consider any kind of the slab sections at the first story ground story that's why i'm taking roof load only click on cancel option so select the earthquake load x direction click on add option select a seismic loading condition x with factor 1 add close again i'm selecting z direction condition seismic loading intensity select seismic z with one factor again i'm selecting wind load click on add option select the wind load condition system with the one factor again we will add the factor as minus 1 here in the same process we will add the wind load in z direction condition system which is related to the wind load which is in z direction condition with the factor 1 add option again i am adding the factor as minus 1 close option now i am selecting dead load under the set dead load we can add the self aid condition system initially then after that you can add the floor load condition system which is related to the floor load which is of minus 2 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter as well as the 24 meter for that particular slab section okay so again i am selecting roof line so which we will consider the roof line which is approximately equal to floor load of minus 5.75 which is acting at a distance of 3 meter as well as the 24 meter for this model click on add option close option now select the self aid condition system we will select the assign to view option assign option yes option now after this we have to add the load combination systems go to select the load case details click on add option select the auto load combination option here and we have to consider the indian code standard provision standard system according to general structures option so click on the generate loads option here click on add option close option now after this we have to analyze this structure go to analysis and print add your now print close option go to analyze option run analysis save option here so here we have to check for the zero errors for the analysis process if the analysis process is obtained with zero errors then we can easily proceed with the designing process now we can see here my model is obtained as zero errors for the model go to post to processing mode option click on done option apply your load cases click on okay so that it will display the deflection diagram for this dome structural model under the considerations of the stat pro again in the same process it will be consisting of the uh, shear force diagram for this dome structure in the same process it will be consisting of the bending moment diagram and in the same process if you want to see the results related to plate pressure you can consider as absolute pressure click on apply click on okay so that it will display the complete uh, pressure diagram for this building structural model so at the bottom of this slab section it is having high pressure when you compare with the top dome section okay so again after this we have to do the designing process for this dome structural model go to modeling for that click on design click on concrete design select the code which is related to is 456000 code select the parameters initially firstly we will deselect all the parameters from this parameters initially we will select compressed strength yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary click on okay again we will define the options which is related to grade of the concrete just i am considering 30000 which is related to m30 grade concrete again i am selecting 500 grade steel for this model 500000 click on add option section uh, section reinforcement okay so shear reinforcement just i am selecting 500 grade 500000 click on add option again i'm selecting maximum main which is of 20 mm diameter bar click on add secondary 16 mm diameter bar if you want you can consider 12 mm diameter bar click on add close option select the commands option here so initially we will add the design beam command option here again we will add the design column command option design slab element command option again we will add the take off command option so now we have to uh, assign this question marks select fc by using assign to view we will assign this properties again i'm selecting fi main by using assign to view we will assign this properties in the same process shear uh, reinforcement we will assign to view maximum main also assign to view we will apply here again i'm selecting secondary also assign to view here assign yes option select the beams go to select the front view we will select the beams in by using front view option by selecting control option here click on assign to selected beams option assign option yes option select the column go to select beams parallel to y condition assign to selected beams assign option yes option select the design element by using assign to view assign yes option here after this we have to analyze this structure once again go to analysis and print add close analyze run analysis option save option so here now we have to check for the zero errors for the designing section according to our consideration 
Now you can see here my model is checking for the zero errors as per the design element sections as well as the frame section design results which is beams and columns. It is obtained as zero errors here. Again go to post to processing mode, click on done option. So deselect the uh, reflection diagram here, just I am deselecting here. Again we will select any one of the beam, just I am selecting this beam section, double click on that option so that it will show you the complete designing results which is related to the beam sectional model. In the same process you can consider the designing results for the ground story beam section. Now after this we will consider the column design results, click on the concrete design. So it will be consisting of uh, 21 members of the 12 mm bar size which is consisting of approximately 0.84 is the percentage of the steel which is required for this particular column. In the same process you can select another column so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results which is comes under this particular column. And this is the deflection, this is the shear bending, loading and property general geometry option. Okay. Now after this we have to design the foundation design results for this dome. Before that we will check the reinforcement design results for the output file. Click on the stat output file option so that it will show you the complete calculation sheet which is available in stand output file option here like this. So select, select foundation design. Now we will select the load cases which is related to seismic load, wind load, dead load, roof load. Click on include option, click on run start foundation. The fixed supports related to dome structural model will be imported to start foundation software. Now you can see it was imported all the support condition systems at the base for this model here like this. Select the load factors initially. We will create the load combination, generate load combination, select as per Indian code, click on generate load combination system here. In the same process we will create the load combination for the ultimate also. Click on the generate load combination here so that it will create the load combination generation. Now after this we have to create the job setup, just I am selecting create job. So give the job name just I am giving here as uh, dome. So select the job type isolated footing according to Indian concrete provision standard system assigned to all supports. We will select the load combinations here which is available which we are generated recently related to ultimate and as well as the uh, service load combination. Click on this include option create job set uh, create job option so that it will generate the isolated footing job information. If you want you can edit the values which is related to concrete rebar cover footing geometry sliding and overturning. This time selecting directly design option, click on S option so that it will design the complete uh, reinforcement design result which is related to the foundation as per the consideration. So click on the geometry, this is the details and drawing which is required for this particular foundation section. Okay, So it is required approximately 8 mm diameter bar and 6 mm diameter bar for this model. So in this way you can do the designing process for the foundation according to IS code provision standard system. So this is the complete process of modeling as well as the analysis and designing of the dome structural model by using StatPro V8i software. So if you have any queries about this respected video, please try, try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that I will give you the answer for that questions. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next one.